Welcome back to the workshop. My friend's wife asked me to make him an American flag challenge coin rack for, as a graduation gift for him graduating Officer Candidate School. So after giving him my best salute, that's what I did. Let's get started. The first step is to mill down the lumber. I'm using Peruvian walnut for the union and red stripes and ambrosia maple for the white stripes and stars. A couple of boards were too narrow to fit the clamps on my joiner sled, but I figured out putting another board on top and clamping that board actually worked pretty well. Next, I planed everything down to the same thickness. I used my miter gauge on the table saw to cut the union to length. The stripes were too long for the miter gauge, so I used my miter saw. Then I ripped everything to the width I needed. Time for the glue up. I did this in five sections. First the union. Then the short stripes and long stripes in two sections. After everything dried, I ran it through the planer to get rid of any unevenness the glue up caused. First, blow your dust away. That's key. Then on the union and the short stripes, I trimmed the edges that are going to be glued with the miter gauge to get a perfect 90 degree edge to glue. I glued the union to the short straps to make the top of the flag. My math wasn't perfect, so I trimmed the blue edge with the table saw and then glued the whole flag together. Then some sanding from 80 grit and stepping all the way up to 220 grit. After that, I trimmed the short edges so everything was square. To mount it on the wall, I'm using keyholes. I found the center and measured out 16 inches on each side so it will match up with standard studs. Then I just marked the top and bottom of the cut, set the fence on my router, and made the cut with a keyhole bit. Next, I resawed a piece of ambrosia maple to make the stars. Then I planed it down to remove all of the bandsaw marks. I made a star template, printed it off, and then used spray adhesive to attach it to the board. Now, I must be a masochist or something because I keep making American flags without a CNC. I cut out each individual star on the bandsaw, and I'm not going to lie, it was not fun. The good news is, it only took about an hour. The bad news is, that was just one star. Time for 49 more.
I set them down to get rid of the bandsaw marks, and then it was time to attach them. First, I measured out where each star needed to go and drew reference lines. Then I put a dab of wood glue on each part of the star and put a blob of super glue in the center to hold them down while the wood glue cured. For the coin holder shelves, I ripped down some maple to the right thickness. Then I pushed my fence as close to the saw blade as I could without damaging anything and ran another pass at a lower depth. This made a rabbit that will be able to hold the coins without them falling out. Then I used the same wood glue and super glue trick to attach them. I sanded the stars and the shelves as well as cleaned up the pencil marks and any discrepancies in the stars. I finished it with some boiled linseed oil, two coats, and we're done! Thanks for watching, that was a fun project. Got free plans down below. Make sure you click on that and download them. They're free, so it doesn't cost you anything. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Check out one of these videos up here, and I'll see you on the next one.